Have you heard of the secret Mormon band called the Danites? The Danites were organized under the name of Daughters of Zion. They originally started in June of 1838, and they made a very specific oath when they were initiated into the band. The following is said to have been the oath that each of the Danites covenanted to. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I do solemnly obligate myself to ever regard the prophet and the first presidency of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as the supreme God, that I will stand by my brethren in danger or difficulty, and will uphold the presidency, right or wrong, and that I will ever conceal and never reveal the secret purpose of this society, called Daughters of Zion. Should I ever do the same, I hold my life as the forfeiture in a cauldron of boiling oil. The secret fraternity was called the Danites because Daniel has said that the saints shall take the kingdom and possess it forever. So why were they called the Daughters of Zion? Well, there's a story that John C. Bennett told that might shed some light on that. This story was published in the Sangamo Journal on July 22nd of 1842. Bennett recounted that Smith had threatened to kill him and had ordered some of the Danite band to effect the murder clandestinely. According to Bennett, on June 29th, 12 of the Danites dressed in female apparel approached my boarding house in Nauvoo with their carriage wheels wrapped in blankets and their horses' feet covered with cloth to prevent noise about 10 o'clock for the purpose of conveying me off and assassinating me, thus prevent disclosures. But I was so admirably prepared with arms, as were also my friends, that after prowling around the house for some time, they retired. I love Mormon history.